dear students in the last class we have discussed a few tests used to detect various types of specification errors today we discuss a test for specification error suggested by rams the name of the test is reset reset means regression specification error test proposed by ramsey this test is usually considered as a test for wrong functional form this is a test for functional form whether the functional form is correct or not we accomplish this test by adding squared values of fitted values to the original equation ramses retest test is applied by introducing using squared values of the squared values of estimated y that is y hat to the original equation let us see how this test actually works and how this squared fitted values is used to detect whether the functional form suggested is correct or not suppose that our original model is yt is equal to beta 1 plus beta 2 xt plus v yt is equal to beta 1 plus beta 2 xt plus v now if you apply oils you will get y hat t as equal to beta 1 hat plus beta 2 hat xt beta 1 hat plus beta 2 hat xt then you will obtain y hat then square it y t hat square then we add this squared value the square of the fitted value to the original model that is y t is equal to beta 1 plus beta 2 xt plus beta 3 y hat t square plus v t y hat t square plus v t that is we uh, use the square of the fitted values to the original model and obtain y hat t as equal to beta 1 hat plus beta 2 hat xt plus beta 3 hat y hat t square obtain y hat t as equal to beta 1 hat plus beta 2 hat xt plus beta 3 hat y hat t square then we test the significance of beta 3 equal to 0 versus h1 beta 3 not equal to 0 if this null hypothesis is rejected then it means that in addition to xt 
yt hat square should also be included in the model. Now the question is, how this test become a test of functional form when yt hat square is added to the model? Let us see how it actually works. To see this, we have y hat t as beta 1 hat plus beta 2 hat x t. So naturally, y hat t square is equal to beta 1 hat plus beta 2 hat x t into beta 1 hat plus beta 2 hat x t x t is equal to beta 1 hat square plus 2 beta 1 hat beta 2 hat x t plus beta 2 hat square x t square x t square that is y t hat square. Now substituting this value, substituting this value here, you will get y hat t as equal to beta 1 hat plus beta 2 hat x t plus beta 3 hat y hat t square is beta 1 hat square plus 2 beta 1 hat beta 2 hat x t plus beta 2 hat square x t square. This will give us y hat t as equal to beta 1 hat plus beta beta 1 hat plus beta 3 hat beta 1 hat square plus plus beta 2 hat plus 2 beta 3 hat beta 1 hat beta 2 hat x t plus beta 3 hat beta 2 hat square x t square beta 2 hat x t square that is y hat t. Now as you can see here y hat t is a function of x t y hat t square. Now this can be rearranged as y hat t is equal to is equal to beta 1 hat plus beta beta 3 hat beta 1 hat square is a constant so it is alpha 1 plus alpha 2 or alpha hat 1 plus alpha hat 2 x t plus alpha hat 3 x t square. Now as you can see, as you can see, these models are identical. These models are identical in the sense that we are actually estimating x t and also x t. We are, we are actually regressing y hat t on x t and x t square. A direct method is we regress x t on y, 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 y t on x t and x t square. But that is not the same as reset. So when we add the square of estimated value, we are actually testing for whether, whether yt is related to xt only or xt square should also be included in the model. Whether the square of xt should also be included in the model. So, reset is actually an indirect way of testing 
whether the square of x t is also required as an explanatory variable. The point is, if there is non-linearities in the relation between y and x, then this non-linearity should also be incorporated. The question is how? We can incorporate this by using xt, xt square, xt, xt cube, etc. But if you introduce the squares of xt directly, it is not necessary that we will obtain complex nonlinearity patterns. But such a complex nonlinearity patterns will be obtained by using the research procedure suggested by Ramsey. So Ramsey's method is an indirect way of testing whether squares of regressors are significant. So in the research procedure what we do is we include squares of fitted values as, as additional regressor in the original model additional regression. Now suppose that in this model we have introduced only xt. Suppose that now yt depends on x2, x3, etc. Then the procedure is same. In addition to x2, x3, etc. we add the square of yt. That is the square of y hat t. If there are more than one explanatory variable in the new model all these explanatory variables will be included. In addition, we add y hat t square. Now, when we include y hat t square only, we are indirectly estimating whether x t square is significant. And if you want to test more than that, that is, if you want to introduce cube of fitted values that the model becomes the model becomes yt is equal to beta 1 plus beta 2 xt plus beta 3 y hat t square plus beta 4 y hat t cube plus v that is square of y, cube of y. And we have to test the joint hypothesis that h0 beta 2 beta 3 is equal to beta 4 is equal to 0. And to test this hypothesis, we use the f. The f as usual. To we construct the f like this. That is, f is equal to r square from the new model minus r square from old divided by number of new regressors. Number of new regressors in this case 2 divided by 1 minus r square from the new model divided by n minus number of parameters in the new model. Number of parameters in the new model is 2. If f exceeds f alpha, reject h0. That is, we have to introduce yt hat square and yt hat cube in the model. So this is the essence of retest, reset. And remember this, reset is available with the most of the packages. And this is specific, this is generally considered as a test for functional form. That is, this test is used generally to test whether any non-linearities are present in the model. We can directly test for this possibility by introducing squared and cubed values of explanatory variables. The same procedure is accomplished indirectly in the research 
by by introducing squares and cubes of estimated values estimated values if we introduce only the square of i hat a t test is sufficient a one dimensional test if uh, we introduce square and cube then the f test is is used and the reset is available in most of the software packages and it is extensively used as a test for functional form